Hello children, friends. So last year you would have learned about the external organs, and now we are going to learn about the internal organs. So what is the external organs? External organs that are visible to us. The organs that are visible to us is the external organs like our hands, legs, our head, our stomach. So everything are visible to us. Visible to us. So those are the external organs. What about the internal organs? Internal organs is nothing but the organs that is present inside our body, which is not visible to us. So the organs are present inside our human body. Okay. So these organs forms a group to perform a specific function, like uh, for us to breathe, uh, for us to digest the food. So there are six systems that a human body has. Okay. So one first is the skeleton system. muscular system digestive system respiratory system circulatory system and the nervous system so now we will discuss in a detailed manner of all the systems okay mm. our first system is the skeleton system place your body at different places the hard parts that you feel is our bones there are actually two not six bones that are present in our human body they are joined together to form a bony framework called the skeleton actually the skeleton gives us a body a shape and a support to stand it also protects our soft internal organs such as the brain is protected by the skull and the spinal cord is protected by the backbone and the rib cage protects the heart and the lungs and also the place where two bones join together is known as a joint joints help us to move and bend next is a muscular system can you feel the muscles in your face move when you smile it's because the muscles are present throughout the body there are more than 600 muscles in our human body different types of muscles help us to do different things some muscles attached to our bones they help us to lift heavy objects and the next is our digestive system digestion is a process of breaking down food into a smaller substance so that it can easily absorbed by the body such as it converts the food into the energy that is needed for our body this process starts from the mouth and ends at the anus i'll be i'll give you an example when you are eating a bread piece of bread you will put a piece of bread in your mouth or what our teeth will do it will uh, grind all the foods then the bread will be going through the, the food material that will be going through the food pipe that is nothing but the esophagus next the food will travel through the stomach in stomach there is a strong substance that is present it's called as stomach juice it di digests the food it break down the food uh, and it helps us to digest next the food is going through the small intestine here the food is digested further and here only the digested food is absorbed into the blood next the undigested food is goes to the large intestine and here the large intestine absorbs the water and sends only the waste materials to the anus understood what is the digestion digestive system what the <clears throat> process is taking place in the digestive system okay and the next is the respiratory system we breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide the process of breathing is known as respiration and we breathe in the air through the nose and the air is goes through the windpipe and is also called as trachea okay then the air goes through the lungs the lungs will expand and contract during the breathing process okay so what gas goes in is the oxygen goes in and what gas comes out the carbon dioxide comes out during the respiratory process and the next is the circulatory system the circulatory system consists of heart blood and the blood vessels 
you know na heart okay you place your hand in your left side of a chest okay you will hear some beat heart beat okay there is the heart is located the heart beats range from 70 to 80 times in a minute okay and your heart size will be only your fist sized okay and it pumps the blood through all the parts of our body and also blood carries the digested food as well as the oxygen and the next is a very important system that is our nervous system this system controls all the other systems in our human body okay have you ever wondered what makes you stretch your hands away from a hot object and what you and makes you grab something when you are about to slip is it because the message is sent to the brain immediately the nerves are connected to all the pa- all the parts in our body and the message is sent to the nerves next the nerves will send the message to the spinal cord and from the spinal cord the message will be goes to the brain this is how the nervous system works so now you guys would have a clear idea how each organs and organ system works so now i want you to just draw and practice all the internal all the organ systems and see